get our mind off the snow. Blackmore rules. Another set up here. Okay. Welcome, legendary Scott Water Sky Club. What a great song to kick this album off with. Thanks to. Louis Ferrer the third sent me this via the mail the mail the mail wow oh, don't have three hands anyway great start to this album always love this song so what you get in more detail you get two from Ben Tango Three songs from this band. Little Cinderella. Then you get uh, Dangerous Toys through the Prince of Rock Water Sound part from Parts I Know and Likes Dangerous Toys. Two songs from them. Big two of the whole deal here. Well, uh, more than that, actually. Jody, Dr. J. Watson. Dawkins on here. Of course, you already know that, but. Turn on the action and break in the chains. Rory Gallagher and I sort of missed the boat on Rory Gallagher. I know some songs, some that I love. Same with Dawkins, I just haven't got into them enough, but yeah, this is pretty darn heavy. And they were in the California scene. There's some footage of the Don uh, with uh George Lynch before he joined Dawkins in a club in California, I believe, in a band that was there in California right around when Van Halen's first album came out, second album came out, like they're right in the middle of the scene, but they didn't break it, and then Dawkins started and... You know, think of hair metal all being power ballads, and this is pretty flipping heavy. And then, of course, Breaking the Chains, I love that song. Recording, all the various different recordings. Some are good, some are bootleg almost, but uh, overall, well worth this three CD live set. Lynch Mob right after this, which is ironic. Another the George Lynch band that he formed, I believe, right after leaving Dawkins. I think I could be wrong though, but um, Paris is Burning. I think it was a song that George did before he joined Dawkins. But here it is, here's the live version anyway. Let Jody tell you all about the background. Paris is Burning is a good song. Pretty 
yarn heavy and then wicked sensation the next song really melodic song six minutes long there you go. this one that uh of course in the prince of denmark might enjoy And then uh, Great White with three songs covering Led Zeppelin. Ramble On, Dire Maker, and Stairway to Heaven. But we well, all heard those songs. Oh, here's some Canadian hard rock, Harlequin. Oh, no, that's April Wine. What am I talking about? Yeah, say hello, that's what it is. <laughs> Reminded me of a Harlequin song for a second. But anyway, when I saw the name Simple Man, I thought it was maybe a Skinner cover, but it's not. Ah, the put dark red on black. Junkyard doing Simple Man. in Hollywood. <laughs> then you've got a, I believe a triple shot from LA Guns who I saw here before. Um, Never Enough's a pretty good song. That's one of them. And the Lita Ford sounded too 80-ish, um, keyboardy kind of. I don't think I've ever bought a Lita Ford album, so I don't know uh, if most of her stuff. Like here's "Kiss Me Dead." Looks like the keyboards are up front. I don't know, but um, I'm sure she has a lot of metal songs. Just I haven't. Ins inspected her uh, catalog um, it's starting to get dark here it's only 4 p.m. Night Ranger was next I was a little disappointed in this nine ten three songs from um, Night Ranger sound a little mellow or, or, I saw them live a few years ago sweet and rock and it was really really good I was impressed A new song, California, something rather, it was really good. I don't know. Just in Sister Christian, I've never really figured out what the words meant in that song and huh, never really cared for some then. CD3 picked up again right with uh right off the bat. Double shot from Paul Diano live. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera and Rothschild. You probably wonder about the sound quality is Rothschild. <laughs> Sounds pretty darn good. I just wish I could read these things. Oh, Quiet Riot was after that live. That's cool, because I don't think I've ever owned any Quiet Riot. But uh, the singer, uh, I forget his name, how stupid. Brain Cramp, but anyway, put out a solo album where he covered Montrose and a bunch of really, really good songs and really good versions. That was press. Let's get crazy, come feel the noise and metal health, bang your head, good version. familiar with Quiet Riot stuff is 
almost almost like a heavy deal kind of stuff. But anyway, then live rat, which is cool. Love it. Probably on this, the, on the rat stuff was a bit more bootleggy. But. Yeah, they got three songs. Body talking wanted, man. But uh, when I went to Saigon Kick. I heard that name a lot, but never really heard them. This song is dedicated to them. It's Then I went to some Steeler. Songs called Ingwe is God. Guitar solo from, of course it doesn't. It's a long four minute guitar solo actually. Which is. Just what do you expect that style from Ingwe? And the last, I think it faded out. Not to my style. It's getting so dark here. Oh, it's the band Union, and I bought one of their albums once and didn't care for it a lot. This wasn't my style, it was a little. More of a grungy style of hard rock or something. Not heavy enough, I mean. Was that John Karabi's band ever or something? I don't know. I think there was a Motley Crue connection, but I could be way wrong. I don't know. But anyway. Um. Was planning on. The other two CDs he sent was this one. Basically, the one song I really liked on this is the summer song, or summer song is it called? Yeah, track three. All panned out as I figured it would, but. Uh. Sound quality on this is great. man boasting about how awfully smart his wife is we wonder if she was temporarily temporarily insane when she married him well it does it for the big episode though and the after forever it's more of the power metal symphonic i don't know what you call it run out of time though so i guess that does it so uh Enjoy the snow, everybody! Oh yeah, I'm the only idiot living where there's snow! Well, maybe no spectrum in Philadelphia has some, but anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, Sword Tyler! <laughs> Keep them to right! Right, Cody!